So welcome to the final part of this video series where we're looking at building a steampunk exo suit sort of power arm device. Now in the last part you may remember that we got to this stage where I sort of had the basic functions of the piece working. Obviously it's all made out of wood and plastic and various bits of metal. As I mentioned this piece is primarily constructed from wood so a technique that I've often used is to just get the basic shape of the piece made in wood uh, first. Obviously wood's quite easy to work with, quite easy to shape and, uh, and mould so get the basic shape made in wood and then worry about the finish later on. What I'm doing here is to cover the entire piece in sheets of thin styrene plastic and it's quite easy to do. I'm literally just cutting out the shapes and super gluing it onto the wood. This allows me to get a nice smooth finish and styrene can easily be sanded and shaped and glued together to create a seamless finish. So here's part of the arm mechanism taking shape. As you might be able to see, I've actually bent some plastic to create a curved piece for the upper arm. The way I've done that is just to get a heat gun, to heat up some thin sheets of plastic and then to bend them over a pipe. Um, it, it can get a bit too hot to touch, so then I just then used a piece of wood to actually um, smooth it down to the pipe. I've got quite a nice sort of smooth shape there. As you can see, I've also used some thin strips of plastic on the back there just to give a bit more structural support. Uh, one thing I found was that uh, part of the ring that sits over my arm actually snapped when I was testing this. Um, to get around that, what I've done is to cut some channels into the wood and then super glue other pieces of wood through the grain to give it a little bit more structural support. I use super glue to actually glue all this together and also to fill in gaps. So I found that if I mixed some sawdust with the super glue, it created quite a hard filler. So yeah, this is uh, mostly wood, but it's also, I would say, 20% super glue as well. I'm also using car body filler to fill in small gaps between the wood and plastic. This stuff's also quite good, it's very very quick setting, easy to use. Once it's dry, um, as, as it's drying you can actually shape it with a standing knife quite easily. And once it's fully dry it's very easy to sand down to a smooth finish. So a final piece of the mechanism that I hadn't uh, finished in the last part of the video was to add a piston onto the back of the arm that would move as I, as I move the lower part of my arm. So as you can see here, I've got a piston mounted on the back of my arm, which is attached to a pivot point just below my elbow. So there's all the pieces um, taken apart and covered in plastic. So I'm now basically ready to start painting. I also felt that the uh, backpack um, sort of steam engine piece needed some form of sculptural detail. So as you can see here, I've just started sculpting up a uh, basic octopus type shape. I'm going to be making a mold of this and casting it up with some brass filler powder in the resin to give it a, uh, a brass finish. So there's the piece uh, fully sculpted. And the way I've made a mould of this is to get some thin brass sheeting, um, cut that to shape, and uh, using some aluminium foil uh, tape, what I've done is to create an enclosure around the sculpture. I've filled in the uh, gaps with some clay just to keep it watertight, and I've poured my silicon over the sculpture, and the enclosure's held it in place. So that's all dry now, so I'm just breaking it open. And there's the impression of my sculpture. So it looks pretty clean. So what I'm going to do now is mix up some polyester resin. So this is just a resin that you add a catalyst to and that causes it to cure. What I'm doing here is mixing in some metal filler powder. So in this case it's a gold filler powder. So I'm just smoothing it down here so that it will fit the contour of the steam engine pipe piece. Just putting that out and there's my finished cast. That looks pretty good, so I'm going to glue that onto the backpack once I've got it all painted up. Now in terms of painting, what I've done here is to give this an undercoat of grey primer and I've sprayed it with a silver spray, so this is quite bright and shiny. What I'm now going to do is mask off certain areas with this stuff called Mascal, which is made by Humbrol. So what I'm going to do here is create a paint chipping effect by masking off certain areas. Then I'm going to cover the whole thing in a green spray paint. Where I put the Mascal is where the paint will chip off. So I'm just dabbing it on here with a sponge. And as you can see here, now I've got a painted a fully painted piece, but if I start rubbing the paint, you can see that it starts chipping off. And that's going to create a nice battered look to it, as though it's seen a lot of use. I deal with this effect in much more detail in a uh, previous video, so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that, have a look at the link uh, just in the bottom right there. 
It's a very useful technique though, it's very good at making things look very worn and dirty and I want this piece to look quite battered and worn as though it's seen a lot of use. It's sort of based on a beam engine so you can imagine it having quite a lot of wear and tear. So what does it look like once all of this is put together? Well here's the more or less final piece. And I'm quite pleased with it, it doesn't restrict my movement too much and it's quite comfortable to wear. So I think all in all Michelle accomplished. So as I mentioned, I'm off to the Asylum in a few weeks, which is the UK's largest um, steampunk festival. So I'm looking forward to showing this off and seeing what everybody else has come up with. Hopefully it'll withstand the entire weekend. Um, there's been a few bits broken here and there, but easily fixable, and I'm going to be taking some spares with me just in case. Um, so yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'm off to the Asylum. See you next time. Ingenious devices keep me alive in perpetual motion. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll be posting more videos on future projects, um, so please do uh, subscribe if you'd like to keep up with uh, what's going on. Uh, you can also find out more on my website, which is uh, www.thedarkpower.com, or you can follow me on my Facebook page, just search for The Dark Power.